I am. I'm being true. This is 84 Reads. No games, no gimmicks, just reasons. What's the reason for this week? The best week in football. And we got these two teams. I know you might have heard of them. Florida, Florida State. One's in Gainesville. The other one, the other one is, a, is in a city that will go unnamed because it doesn't matter. But two things happened last week. Florida State wins their game. Florida loses their game. Both starting quarterbacks go out. Jordan Travis and Graham Mertz, which means we got these backups stepping in to fill in to a game that still has big-time postseason aspirations. One, for Florida to make a bowl game, and two, for Florida State to stay into the college football playoff hunt. This is what I got to say about this game. When people talk about throwing out records, and it doesn't really matter what the records are, it's really serious in this game. I mean, Florida... Right now, five or six, one game away from being bowl eligible. And obviously, Florida State doing the unthinkable, trying to complete the undefeated regular season. Mike Norvell, Billy Napier, Garnet and Gold, Burgundy and Gold versus Orange and Blue. Baseball fan bases. But I think, and I know I say this all the time, I know to the people that be listening, and I appreciate you guys listening, there's something funny about this game. Once again, it's a night game. In the swamp, sold out, it's going to be rocking, and we got a shot. I think Florida got a shot. I really, really do. Yes, I'm biased when it comes to my take on that, but I've been a part of this game. Being a, being a Georgia boy, you know, my rivalry was always them boys from Athens. I did not want to lose against them. I did go for and all against them. But Florida, Florida State was unique to them, to them guys from the state of Florida. They either grew up playing against these guys of Florida State got recruited with a bunch of guys that went to Florida State or just went to the same high school and played against these guys in high school. And it's a unique rival to the point where I do not like these dudes. I have to, I have a healthy respect for them, but I got a genuine dislike for them. But I hope something special happens. This I don't even know what, what number this is, what number game this is between Florida and Florida State, but uh, I want Florida to beat them strictly because they're Florida State, but I want them to beat them because of the ramifications. We not too many moons removed from Florida not making a bowl game way back when. One of my best friends is B.J. Bennett. He's a big-time Florida State fan. I sat there and I told him, I said, you better hope Florida State don't miss a bowl game again the, the, the very next year. And who kept him out? I think them Florida boys did. Look, two, two, uh, two uh, distinguished programs, both going to two totally different directions right now. Mike Norvell has proven to be the guy at Florida State with what he's done in 2022 and now 2023. We're still trying to figure things out with Billy Navy, even though we're sticking with him and the culture going to be there. But I still think we got a shot. Max Brown. Max Brown stepping in. I know that Ricky Pierce, all they both, obviously both of their cell phones work. I saw Ricky Pierce, I'll text him and say, I'm always open. If you go back to last year, I want to say Anthony Richardson had nine completions, I think five of them for 148 two tough. Up, went to a then uh, Ricky Pearsall coming over from ASU. Ricky Pearsall's going to get a chance to do something that hasn't been done in a long time, and that's go over the thousand yard benchmark at, at the University of Florida for them wide receivers. I remember when we got a chance to sit down and talk to him. We said, Ben, I'm coming back because I want to be up for that, that blitz in the call. I want to be one of the best receivers to come through Florida, not just a receiver to come through Florida, but I don't know a better receiver in the country. Well, you know, you got Marvin Harrison Jr. up there at Ohio State, but. I'm just saying, the guy is as good as, as advertised. But this is what's going to have to happen. We're going to have to be better than advertised come Saturday night. I know a lot of the naysayers are kind of riding with Florida this week. And I'm saying, I think the Gators got a shot. And we do got a shot. Uh, shout out to that Deloge boy over there at Florida State, man. Savannah kid. I mean, I know his daddy, Robert. I know his brother. You know, I mean, a great, great family coming from Savannah, Georgia. So I'm not, I am not rooting for you, uh, you know, Kalen on Saturday as far as like, uh, Collectively, individually, I want you to play well, but not good enough to beat my Gators. But I just got to make sure I give a shout out to that Savannah kid that's doing big things. Uh, they got recruited by Willie Taggart, still doing big things. I think up for ACC Player of the Year. But I just think that as a person who my last game in the swamp was in 2003 at night versus Florida State. I suggest everybody go back and watch that game. 2003, Florida versus Florida State. Big time uh, postseason ramifications on the line that year. I hope the refs doesn't do what they did in 2003 and 2023. God, 20 years ago. God, I'm kind of telling my age a little bit. But I think that at the end of the day, Florida got a shot. Home field atmosphere at night. Everything's on the line. Genuine dislike, a genuine hate for each other. 
And I think that's going to make it for a great, great atmosphere. And I heard some rumors that the Florida faithful might storm the field if they beat Florida State. Now, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not, I'm not for it, but I'm not against it. I'm like lukewarm in the middle. We'll see what happens. But I would want nothing more than to ruin the postseason hopes for Florida State. Oh, and to you, uh, to you uh, fans down south in South Florida, I'm talking about real South Florida, not USF, not USF. I want to. I want to make, make sure that you guys know y'all are in no position. I'm talking about you versus Miami. Y'all in no position to talk trash about Florida. Zero, zero, zero. We'll see y'all in 2024. But I got to give a shout out, man. Graham Mertz. Graham Mertz uh, broke his collarbone against Mizzou. I just want to say I appreciate you big time because going into the season, everybody thought that you was going to be the Achilles heel. The offense is going to sputter because of you. We were going to have to win in spite of you, not because of you. And it, it has been anything but that. You have more than proven that you built for this. And I know that you are in good spirits. I think you've already gone through surgery. I hope that you do the big announcement this offseason uh, and say you're coming back for 2024 because we're looking forward to having you. But I want to say, man, I appreciate you because people talk about, like, the target on their back. Nobody had a bigger one on their back than you. Transferring in. Replacing Anthony Richardson at Florida. Big time expectations this year. Second year for Billy Napier. Gator Nation was scratching their head. And you know what was funny? Every single week, whether it was Florida or the people on the outside, people was waiting on you to like show, to prove, people were waiting on you to be what people, uh, uh, the narrative was about you in their minds. And it never, ever took shape. So I want to say, man, get healthy. Take your time. We hope to see you back in GVL in 2024. It's going to be star studying in the building. But I want the stars to align. I am so sick of these almost wins. And I'm saying that with all due respect, we almost beat Arkansas. Almost beat Mizzou. God, oh, we could be staying up, you know, at eight and three right now. Attention, all Florida Gator current players, former players, and future players. If you're a future Florida Gator, man, we need you watching tomorrow night. If you're a current Florida Gator, we need you on the field doing what you do and if you are has been former player like myself all we need you to do is one thing root so if you future root, root if you root for him if you former root for him and if you are current go out there and do what you do gator nation we need this one bad and i wish we was already bowl eligible i wish we could just come into this game and ruin the season for florida state and i already be eligible but we get to do both we get to get bowl eligible we get to ruin on the undefeated season for Florida State. We get to keep them on the outside looking in the college football playoff, and we get to take care of them in Tallahassee. You had a good year, not a great year. You had, you had some good moments, not some great moments, because it don't matter what we didn't do before we played y'all, we're going to make it happen against y'all. So let's get that dub on Saturday night. With everything that hasn't gone right this season, you got to write, you got a chance to write a lot of wrongs on Saturday night. Get dub. I am being true, and I'm out of here.